I could take his head off and play with this. His eyeballs look a little bit bigger than mine. Okay, okay, too much, too much. You flipped the game upside down. Hey, everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today, we are going to test if Terraria bosses can survive against the Moon Lord. That is right. If you haven't seen the previous video about us transforming into the Moon Lord, well, here you go. We can transform into the Moon Lord via this mod right here, playable Moon Lord mod. And we need the Eldritch Curse. And as you can see, it says unlimited power. Configure controls in the control menu and activate true God mode in the mod config. God mode works against other modded bosses. I have done that. I have binded the controls. I have turned on the God mode in the mod config. So we should be unstoppable at least that's what the mod says but yeah let's get right to it let me go down to earth here this is kind of a different area i don't know how often i've been in this area to fight bosses but let's get right to it obviously we're gonna look a little weird when there's no uh void monolith around no dark background we're gonna look a little weird because uh that's just how the mod is but yeah let's start with the king slime i cthulhu skeletron boom there's our trio there the i cthulhu flew away okay that's fine good for him let's start with the spiral attack and my game froze when they died very nice let's go ahead let's do that again i gotta remember every time i like load into a world and kill a boss or an enemy for the first time the game freezes i, I don't i really don't know why i guess i don't know the game's just like getting used to something warming up something like that but uh, that usually happens like 99 percent of the time let's kill the eye before it runs away see you later get him out of here and while we're at it go ahead and kill the queen bee which we might accidentally spawn a queen bee these projectiles i'm pretty sure they go pretty far but at the same time i think like most queen bee larvas are destroyed maybe there's like one or two i don't know it's looking like they're all destroyed finally but honestly i thought that in the past and more of them would just spawn in but yeah let's go over here we're gonna fly over here out of the moon load for him because it's a little faster obviously oh there's our next attack that attack is called the circle implosion i believe let's see it in action against the brain of cthulhu here look at that beautiful almost killed all of it but let's just let's hold it down so there's a bunch of projectiles there you go guaranteed to kill all of it next up we're here at the corruption time to take on the eater boom and uh, let's go ahead let's let's let the eater unwind itself a little bit and then we will go ahead and start our attacks here i'm gonna do both at once all right very nice honestly that was a satisfying noise but yeah let's go ahead and see lepus and turkor now boom there's lepus and boom there's turkor and let's do it again both attacks at once amazing and let us also kill the dark mage both versions why not let's use a different attack here let's use this attack this is a very dangerous attack right here as you can see, it spawns in a bunch of projectiles that do a bunch of damage. I don't know how long it lasts. I think it lasts until I just get out of the form. And then it goes away slowly. But yeah, there you go. Looking good so far. It is time to go to the underworld, though. So that we may face the wall of flesh. Boom. Moon Lord form. We look a little better underground. Because it's a little darker. Everything looks normal. So we look a lot better down here. But yeah, let's go ahead and fight the wall of flesh. It's missing the wall part. That's, that's fine for me. I don't really care. There you go, Wall of Flesh has been defeated. Back to the surface. We are ripping through these bosses. Let's keep it going. Let's start with the Mechanical Amalgam. Of course, the Mech Trio here. Hold up, I gotta do it like this. And then we can do it. Let's do the double attack. And they're all dead already. Maybe I should do the triple attack. All three of the Moon Lord attacks at once. All right, next up, the Golem and Plantera. I barely fit in here, so uh, hopefully they don't mind too much. Let's go ahead. Let's just do this one. Let's do that one. That one's nice and easy. You hear all the stuff I'm breaking. Hopefully, hopefully we don't break too much stuff, you know? I haven't picked up any loot yet, so hopefully that doesn't uh, lag out the game or anything. Well, look at this. The treasure bags, they're moving. Where are they? I, I, I can't tell. All right, time to take on the Duke here. Kind of wish I could zoom out a little bit more because I feel like this camera is super zoomed in, especially for playing as the Moon Lord. Maybe in the future, they'll add like a more zoom outable camera. Is that is that even like the correct words to use there? A camera that can zoom out more. I know there's mods that actually do that, I think. Maybe I should enable that mod for like the second half of this video. Maybe I will do that. Let, let's get rid of all these uh, vanilla bosses and then maybe I'll do that just to give us a better viewing angle. But yeah, let's take on the martian saucer here we're gonna bring in the super attack and honestly the martian saucer surviving a couple of those hits there next up well we got the super attack going go ahead and send out the dutchman break all of his cannons next up let's send in the ogre and betsy i don't even know where he's at oh he fell down into the attack 
Betsy, go ahead. Betsy's gonna dash into it. Watch. Yep. You can't even say I killed her. She killed herself. Let's bring in the trees. Bomi's gonna fall into it. Same thing with the Everscream. I assume they're just gonna fall into it. Pumpkin, I'm assuming also, is gonna fly down into it. Oh, almost survived though. You saw that? That's kind of close. Next up, let's bring in the Santa tank. Boom. This is probably one of the easiest videos I've done so far. They're all just killing themselves while I just sit here and spawn them. Again, gonna kill herself. And last but not least, Akram, which I hope also kills itself. I don't know. You might play it careful. Never mind. We pulling up on the boys. What's up, boys? I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to turn into the moon lord real quick. But see you later, boys. Uh, you know, this always has to happen to them. And people try to tell me, like, hey, there's this item you can use to spawn in the cultist. Do you want to see the boys live or something? You know, the boys, they got one job, and that's to die. And if you don't want them doing that job, that's kind of fucked up. That, that's their only job in life. But yeah, I'm going to summon the super attack here. And starting now, we're going we're gonna to break our PB, okay? Boom boom that should be the other one should be dead right i don't know i didn't did i hit it no it was really far away okay uh our record might have broke already and when i say broke i like broke in a bad way like we're really slow right now but it's like kind of fast it's kind of fast oh there you go i, I broke all of them apparently all right we have the matchup of the century, Moon Lord versus Moon Lord. Which one is the real one? Uh, come on, obviously. Obviously, it's the one that barely moves when it flies around, of course. Let's do both of our attacks. Let's get this fraud out of here. I feel like what this Moon Lord is doing, the one I'm playing as, this is like the equivalent of T-posing as, as a Moon Lord. I kind of wish that he actually did T-pose. Do you think... Okay, hold on, hold on. If I get out of this form, do you think I can make the Moon Lord T-pose? <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly interested now. Let's see if I can make him T-pose here. Oh, his arm kind of just disappears when it goes all the way out here. Maybe if I... Maybe if I could just, like, get his arms to, like, stretch out. I don't know. This is not working. This is not working how I thought it was going. I can do this, though. I can take his head. I can take his head off and play with this. All right, we are going on to the modded bosses here. But first... Let's go back into the Moon Lord form here. Make sure I get out of the UFO. And let me just, uh, you know, zoom out a little bit. Okay, okay, too much, too much. It flipped the game upside down. There you go. Look at this. This is so weird playing from this far away. Let me zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Like, some things aren't even rendering in. Like, this is really weird. But yeah, there you go. That I feel like that's a decent space right there. Let's go ahead and summon in the Dungeon Guardian, of course. And let us see if Calamity being in enabled affects it or not. I'm assuming it's not gonna. Because that's how strong I'm feeling the Moon Lord is. Yes, sir. The Moon Lord is just built different, literally. Motherfucker doesn't have legs. But yeah, let's get to the uh, Thorium bosses here. That means Abyssion, and that means Ragnarok. That's not what they're called anymore. Primordials. All right, let's see Abyssion like this. Uh, how, how am I going to do this here? This attack? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it works, I guess. And then might as well summon in the other two here. I'm just like trying to tap the attack. Even tapping it kind of just does a lot of damage. All right, let's go ahead and see these boys here. I'm going to summon in the Circle of Doom. Come on. The Circle of Doom, and I'm going to hit them all with it, hopefully. I don't know. I'm kind of having troubles right now. I'm a little slow. I'm a little slow, so it's understandable if I have troubles. This music is bumping, though. There we go. The music was bumping, but that's not going to stop me from killing them. All right, on to Ek Death. No, I'm kidding. On to the mutant. Let me go ahead and transform here. Boom, there's the mutant. Bring out everything we got. Is it dead? We're doing the same attacks. His eyeballs look a little bit bigger than mine. I'm a, I'm a little bit ashamed of that. All right, yeah, there you go. I don't know what the hell just happened, but I beat him. Even when his balls are bigger. I guess we could spawn in the Deviant. I, I kind of wanted to stop fighting the Deviant, but why not for this episode? The Deviant isn't really that strong, so that's why I kind of stopped fighting it. But yeah, let us move on to what you guys want to see the most. The Calamity bosses, and of course, Ek Death. All right, we have Dog here. I don't know what attack to use. Let's use this attack. Let's use this attack, and he's dead. It may have taken a couple hits, but at least it didn't get damage capped. Phase two incoming though. Let's see. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, he was in the bottom left apparently. All right, there you go. That for sure might be the strongest attack right there. I don't know. Maybe doing all three of them at once. <laughs> 
this quote unquote the strongest attack all right next up yarn this is so weird playing like this playing so zoomed out that like the game doesn't load correctly let's get to it do the circle attack do this attack we're gonna lose frame rate but hopefully yarn loses his life at the same time i don't know what's going on i'm pretty sure it's dead pretty much no wait it's still alive let's 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 calm it down for a second okay let him regen his health he's going out of frame or going out of render distance i guess and once his health comes back it should be like game over immediately right 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 is his health back there we go you know we've seen some power in this series but this this might be like the greatest power we've ever seen next to like things that straight up just delete monsters or delete bosses now, i wonder how close we can zoom in now okay it's pretty close it's starting to get a little uncomfortable how close it is now almost feels like i'm editing it but i'm not actually editing anything this is how close the mod lets us get wow look at that i can see every single detail about this mushroom outfit like how right here changes colors when i walk you see that whoa and now this takes a year to zoom out i don't know why it takes so long all right it is time to take on supreme cal let us do it this one i'm kind of interested to see if we could kill but before we do that let's take on the eidolon worm of course i always have to look to make sure i spawn in the right one all right let's see here wow <laughs> That's some good damage when it can kill the idol on worm. So we definitely are tapping into some uh, S tier Hall of Fame power. All right, let's see Supreme Cal then. Let's see Supreme Cal. I'm gonna try and dodge it. Oh, I look cool as hell. This is cool as hell. <laughs> I got the the little red going on on the Moon Lord. Hey, I'm doing pretty good at dodging here. Wait, does it doesn't even matter. No, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Did I win? Okay, she never sent her brothers out. I don't know what happened. Oh. All right, that's a very interesting fight when you insta-kill Supreme Cow. <laughs> like, I, I was in there waiting for her brothers to come out. They just never came out. But there you go. That was all the Calamity bosses. You already know what time it is. It is time for the Act Death finale. So to fight Act Death here, we're gonna go. We're gonna go into our final form, and we're gonna we're gonna summon in everything. Okay, when I say everything. Just do the circle, okay? And we're gonna spawn Act Death here. I don't know what direction Act Death is gonna spawn in. Let's see. To the left. This may be one of the strongest weapons we have found. And that's a weapon in quotes too, because uh, I don't know, is this really considered a weapon? A curse? A form change? Like, I don't know. Would you consider Ben 10 a weapon? I guess you would, or at least the Omnitrix. But like, this dude has slaughtered everyone. Should we fight the Ugandan Knuckles now? What do we need? National Ugandan treasure, got it. Like, if we could kill that thing too, like this may mean that we could step up and fight a boss that's even harder than Ek Death. And some of you may be wondering like, what, there's something harder than Ek Death? Harder than Ugandan Knuckles? Yes, there is something harder and people have been telling me about it for a while now. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe once we hit a couple more episodes get a couple more weapons into the hall of fame then we can take on binos but for now you know we'll stick to egg death we'll stick to the uganda knuckles this is, this is a rare occasion too that the uganda knuckles is coming out okay hold up i gotta summon it first or something and then i gotta go do this there we go let's see it so i cannot die i don't think egg death can kill me and the uganda knuckles definitely can't kill me Oh my god. This is the type of power that no man should have. But yeah, as I zoom in uh, uncomfortably close, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave more ideas for this series, of course. And make sure to check out the playable Moon Lord mod. This was the type of power you're not going to see too often in this series. We'll get it every now and then, but this thing literally killed everything. I'm talking Ektif. I'm talking Supreme Cal. I'm talking the Eidolon Worm. I'm talking the Ugandan Knuckles. This thing literally killed everything I threw at it, which may be a first. Well, actually, no. There might be a couple things in the hall of fame that can do that too but you know what i mean but yeah make sure you guys leave some suggestions i do have an idea already for the next episode and that is gonna involve our mutant friend over here polly or whatever name randomly generates when we do the episode but yeah hope you guys enjoyed check out the mods bye bye i'll see you next time